Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how to connect the Kinect to Windows. First of all, I will illustrate the steps for the Kinect version 1. Before starting, it is necessary to say that the Xbox 360 Kinect is very old and therefore has less functionality than the second version. As you can see, the connector of the cables is not USB, so an, ad an adapter is needed. If you purchase the Kinect not bundled with the Xbox, then the adapter will already be supplied from the factory. If not, you have to buy it. The cost is around 10 euros. Then, before connecting it to the PC, uh, it is essential to download the drivers. I'll leave the link in the description. Ok, now we can talk about the Kinect issue. Also, in this case, you need uh, an adapter with a power supply. This is available uh, at a cost of around 40 euros. So, I decided to build it for myself. The only things to buy are a power supply that must be 12 volts and 3 ampere and uh, a USB 3.0 cable A on B. I ordered everything on Gearbest that were on, on offer and I spent about 7 euros. The fact is that this cable has an output uh, type C, but I solved the problem with a little adapter. After that, uh, you can start removing the Kinect cable, which is well stuck, so you need to do some strength. As you can see, the other end of the cable is not USB. To continue, remove the stickers and then the screws. Then you just need uh, to remove the plastic cover. Now you need to cut the end of the power supply cable and remove the pole cables. This will then have to be soldered directly to the motherboard in this way. Then I covered uh, everything with the hot glue to make the system more stable. Another change that I recommend is to cut the blue and yellow fan cables, as these regulate the angular speed of the motor according to the temperature of the Kinect. But on the PC, if these cables are connected, the fan does not turn on either. If they are cut, the fan will always rotate at maximum. After that, you only need to install the drivers and check if the minimum requirements are present. What Kinect software offers are body tracking, green screen, face tracking and infrared. You can also use it to scan objects in three dimensions. The thing that in my opinion is the best is its use in video games. Taking advantage of body tracking in video games is something that can slowly bring us closer to the future. And this is a small taste at an affordable price. 
In fact, uh, virtual reality allows us to use this technology in its, its maximum potential, even if we are only in its infancy. In the next video, I will explain how to insert quality tracking in VR. That's all. Bye.